Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Vicky here, coming up with an amazing, amazing recipe. So this is an Ayurvedic hair oil. If you're suffering from alopecia, if you have scalp problems, dandruff, spot edges, this is the recipe for you. You need to make this Ayurvedic hair oil. This oil is going to handle all your hair problems and hair loss issues. So stick with me as we make this oil. One, two, three, four. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do well to subscribe because I'm going to share more amazing recipes like this. Thank you so much. We're going to begin this hair oil by adding cinnamon so that's like a teaspoon of cinnamon powder next we are adding ginger powder after that we're going to add bay leaves we're going to add a couple of herbs like a lot of herbs so that's my sorrel leaves or hibiscus leaves whatever you want to call it some people call it zobo leaves so that's my sorrel leaves i'm going to add a handful of that So there are some ingredients that I am going to blend in this recipe. I really want this oil to infuse or to seep in all the nutrients from the herbs. So I'm starting with my hibiscus leaves. Next I'm going to add um, a handful of brown mustard seeds. So that's flax seed. I'm adding a handful of that also. Also, I'll be adding a handful of rosemary leaves and black seeds. Also adding a handful of cloves. So all these herbs are available in your local market. You can look out for them. They're popular in Nigeria. So for the next step, we are going to blend all those beautiful herbs to get them to be very powdery. Don't worry if it's not properly blended, but it should blend a little bit. So that's my own powdered herbs. I have blended them. So all the herbs are in that bowl. I'm using a stainless bowl for this. And for the next step, we're going to add all the oils we'll be using. So that's amla oil. Next is coconut oil. After that, I'll add my olive oil. So I like to add a lot of olive oils because olive oil is like a carrier oil for me and it's not too heavy. So I'll give that a little stir, mix everything together. I want to also add castor oil because the oils are too light. So I'll add my castor oil which is very thick i'm also going to be adding chopped aloe vera you can add aloe vera oil if you don't have the plant so we'll move to the next step so what i basically do for my double boiler method is to boil a kettle of water and put my stainless bowl on top of the kettle and allow this to boil look at how beautiful it is and all the herbs are infusing into the oil like you can see how it's turning brown this is what is going to make your hair grow make your hair fuller all these ingredients all these nutritious um, herbs are going to infuse into your scalp and your hair and it's going to make your hair better if you continue using this oil for months, you are going to see visible difference in the growth of your hair, the texture of your hair. Your hair is going to be shiny and lustrous. So guys, please, ladies, guys, whatever you classify yourself as, I know this recipe is for everybody. If you know anyone that's having hair issues, let them use this oil because 
this oil is a go-to it is the holy grail so this ayurvedic oil is also called a herbal oil it is an indian recipe it's an indian oil because most of these um herbs are used by indians and it originates from india because this is what indian women use basically for their scalp massage and for their hair growth so it's becoming um very popular in almost every part of the world because people want to grow their hair so if you adopt this recipe you are not making any mistake because you are going to enjoy the results of using this oil so guys try it out use this oil long term and you are going to thank yourself you are going to also thank me for trying this amazing oil your hair is going to grow at maximum speed so this is my bo double boiling method i usually don't put the oil directly onto my heat or into the pot and just put it on fire no I use heat or steam from the water in the kettle and that's why I'm using a stainless bowl so I'm not gonna leave this for too long as you can see all the ingredients or all the herbs have already infused into the oil and I'm just so happy with the result so look at it it's at this point gonna look very brownish And that's exactly what we want so for the next step we're going to add in our essential oils you can use any essential oil of your choice this is what I have I have orange oil and I'm adding enough drops of that not too much but I'm adding a reasonable amount of um, the orange oil I'm also going to be adding peppermint oil Please be sure you don't boil your essential oils. Ensure you add them after the oil has been cooled down and is cool enough to you know, accommodate the essential oils. Don't put essential oils into very hot oil. They will lose their nutrients. So that's my lavender oil and I've just added all the essential oils that I need. And I'm just gonna give it a very good stir. So, guys, this is the next phase. You want to get a very clean glass jar. This is what I have. You can use any bottle, clean bottle. Make sure you sterilize it, wash it, and ensure that it's clean. And I want to store my Ayurvedic oil long term and i'm going to use the one um for my scalp massage i'm going to separate that one and use it immediately so for storage i'm adding some more hibiscus leaves and i'm also adding these dried mint leaves i've had it for some time i think this is the best time to use it it's coming in very handy i'm also going to add some pieces of the mint leaves that have fallen off from um, the stems of the mint leaves so at this stage guys you want to um, ensure that you filter this oil and get out all the chaff all the residue um, from the herbs that you have blended because you don't want the herbs to be on your scalp or on your hair so the oil is to be very smooth and runny so for this process i'm using my wig cap this wig cap i have set aside especially for straining oils or my hair um my hair products so i'm just gonna strain that i'll pour all the oils using my funnel and also my strainer and then the wig cap so I'm just going to strain pour the oil and ensure that I get out all the grains all the residue 
of the herbs so guys look out for my next video please because in my next video i'm going to be showing you how i use this ayurvedic oil to massage my scalp and my entire hair and i'm also going to show you the results of using this oil so watch out for that video in that video i'm going to show you all the procedure and the 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 benefits of using this oil and you will see how it's gonna make my hair look really nice so watch out for my next video so guys at this point i'm basically using my wooden stick to stir and strain out you know just trying to get out every oil that is hanging around so that's what i'm trying to do and i'm going to squeeze this off camera so this is what the oil is looking like i have strained and decanted the oil that's the one with my applicator bottle i am going to be applying that directly on my scalp in the next video i'm also going to finalize this um video by adding my fenugreek seeds into the one i'll be storing long term so we all know the benefits of fenugreek seeds i have done a video on that please also look out for that video in that video i made an exposition of the benefits of the fenugreek seeds fenugreek seed is very important for long and fuller hair and this is what my ayurvedic oil in my applicator bottle looks like i'm going to be using that to really massage my scalp and i'll show you that in my next video so that's the bottle one the one in the glass jar so that's what it looks like the fenugreek the mint and the hibiscus leaves everything is in there with ayurvedic oil i'll just allow everything for that infuse and i'll store this for like one month before i use it um, I'm also going to braid my hair, so I've been needing it when I take down the braids. I will definitely give my hair a very good scalp massage. Thanks for watching guys. Until my next video. Bye.